Okay, this lesson is going to talk about the timeline. And we are going to talk about the timeline and also the frame rate, what is a playhead, and layers. So let's get started right away by just kind of focusing on what we need to see here. This area up here, this is the timeline. And it has frames on it going from left to right. So the time is going from left to right. Now, if we look over here, um, in the properties inspector you can see that since we have the the, the um, stage selected here the frames per second are set at 20 frames per second so that means that by the time that this little red thing this red thing with the line here and this red thing is called the playhead when it reaches frame 20 that would be one second so it takes one second for it to go for the playhead to reach to go from 1 to 20 okay so the timeline is up is up in here. Let's look at some other things. So we've looked at the frame rate. Uh, one thing to note about the frame rate is that if your animation, if you're moving along with your animation and uh, you want it to go faster, then you could change the frame rate. But keep in mind that that changes the frame rate for the entire program. And it's a good idea to set the frame rate and then later on you can adjust each little animation within there. So I'd suggest doing this right away from the beginning. Okay, so we talked about the playhead, and if we were to grab this and click and drag it, that's called scrubbing. And then there are layers. Notice that there are just layer one here. If we wanted to add a layer, we come over here to this. So we can add a new layer. And if I double click here, we can call this something else. So this, this could be the um, um, actor or whatever, the character or whatever you want. And this could be double clicking and make this the background. And so that way you're able to create different layers. And if you want to get rid of a layer, then you can just highlight it and you can hit the uh, delete right here. And that will get rid of it. So there we got rid of them. And uh, I'll just add a couple in here just so you can see if we add a few in here. And we want to organize because sometimes your project can get bigger and bigger. If you click on this guy right here, the new folder, click on new folder and see we've got a little drop down. And you can just click and drag and now we have these two within the folder and if I click like this now they're they're hidden and this is a good way to keep your program organized and of course you can double click and and name this so this could be um, you know all background stuff or this could be all the parts of a certain character or something like that so you can uh, give it a title here okay and that's the orientation into the timeline um, we are going to go ahead and look at some of the more detailed features in the next lesson.